All right, guys. Welcome to today's podcast. This episode is about esports, and we have our first guest, first ever guest, Revive. Welcome you to the podcast. Me. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good. good. How are you? Yeah, man. I'm been good. I've been good. Yeah. So, we have esports. Now, Mark, do you want to tell us what it's about, or? Well, I can give you guys the exact definition if you guys want, if that's uh, cool. Okay. So, what is esports exactly? Esports, or as they call it, electronic sports, esports for short, is a form of competitive video gaming. Yes. Could you give like examples of like the like these uh, competitive things where you, like what you're on about? All right. So. I think this was 2019 or 2020. I don't remember what year it was, but for the Fortnite World Cup, Booga... 2019, yeah. 2019. Booga, $3 million, won the World Cup. And, of course, taxes and stuff had to reduce. So, he won $1.5, $1.5 million. That's a lot of money, bro. Yeah. But, um... I want to get to my story at the end because I don't know much anymore about esports. So, I want okay. you guys yeah. to talk. I just I just wanted to tell you guys about like Fortnite and Valorant. People have been going more to because Fortnite is now fading away, and now yes it's, and no in the competitive scene in the competitive competitive scene, scene the, it is it's not fading the, away. It's not fading away. Uh yes it, it is. is. There, there is there is there is pro players quitting a lot. No really. Yes. What the? Yeah, that's true. Like, there, there was the most famous players quitting. Like there was Benji Fishy quit. There was no. Mongrel. There was yeah. No, um, Mongrel's Jack now. Mongrel's fucking yeah. Jack now. The there was the top, there was players. Quit. There was NRG players. There was uh, just a ton of players. Even like uh, organ esports have moved away from for- the Fortnite scene as well. Energy like, hasn't uh, removed. Has energy removed? No, en- energy's moved away from the, the competitive scene. Wow. Uh, uh, like Fortnite scene in general, actually, they've like what? they've gotten rid of all their Fortnite players. That's that's crazy. What the? So Clix is uh, Clix is now all, uh hasn't got an org. Uh, Energy's what? <laughs> Energy hasn't got any uh hasn't isn't affiliated with Fortnite anymore. They don't have their Fortnite roster. So like they removed uh Clix, Bizzle, uh not Bizzle, what's his name? Bucky. Um, is FaZe still with Fortnite or no? FaZe, I believe, is still with Fortnite, yes. Oh, okay. Alright. But yeah, um... But yeah, like, slowly, orgs are moving away from Fortnite, because they don't have... Fortnite doesn't have anything for organizations, right? Like, for, for example, Rocket League, they have things for organizations. They have, like, custom Rocket League car skins for organizations like yeah, uh, Power and uh, NRG, FaZe. They have like these custom car models for the teams, which is why teams are going towards like Valorant and uh, like teams are going towards Valorant, Rocket League, for example, yeah. because that it, it has something in for them instead of just being a team known for a game and that's about it. Yeah. So, yeah. but like in terms of like casual play and like com- creative mode and stuff, especially with Creative 2.0 launch, that isn't going anywhere. That isn't like gonna decrease for a little while, anyway. Like, especially with creative, like the amount of new things that you can make with creative. Now you can import like literally whatever you want into the game as long as it's not copyrighted. It's crazy. All right. So, so Sorry. revive. Talk about your journey with how you started. We have. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I used to be on a team called GSG, owned by yourself, and <laughs> that kind of gave me the inspiration to start my own team called Team Say. So Team Say, I started it in the end of 2017, and that grew to like about 800 subscribers. Wow, that's and really good. I started up my second team with the same YouTube channel. And that got a whopping 1.6k. What? 
averaging about a thousand views on each video. Damn. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh. I wow. still remember the beef GSG had with Say about stealing members. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that's... that. <laughs> that was at the end of. Wait, no. Team Say was. Team Say was founded around the end of 2017, and then a bunch of our members started going to Say. We started getting pissed at. Um... Uh, um, Revive for... I think it was 2019, wasn't it? Yeah, 2019. roughly, yeah. We started getting pissed at Revive for stealing our members. Oh no, they all came to me. Yeah. I think Leighton went to you. Yeah, uh, Leighton actually ditched us. Yeah, Fuqua. Leighton, I know you're watching, yeah? Ah. I don't really like I that kid. I don't like yeah. that kid, really. Leighton is, uh... That kid is a troublemaker. Yeah. Right. yeah. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I think Team Say was actually a 2018. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, about that. It's been, it's been yeah. a while. <laughs> and mm. then after Team, what was that one? Team Say. What? Oh, what was what was the one you made? It was Team Say, and then there was Team Arise. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then I had Team Arise, which was my third team. Uh. Wait, just wondering, up, but, how many yeah. teams did you have in total? Third team already, how many? I had about four teams. Wow. Anyways, continue Fair on. Fair enough. But wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, you can put a photo of the Team Arise YouTube on the screen. Yeah, yeah. we'll put all we'll put all the teams on top, like right here. I'll put them right here. All all four of them. Then after Team Arise, I had a team called Team Aspect, and that was my last team with 2.03 thousand subscribers. That's crazy. My god, wow. So what would um, you yeah. like give advice to people like for the starting out give stage advice? of the team? Um, I think from the start you have to be clear on what you want to progress as a team and what you want to do. So, from for my example, I just wanted to get the socials up, and yeah. I let people know that in my videos. And Discord is a massive part of growing a team. That's how you get. That's how I got most of my subscribers, most of my viewers. But that eventually comes when you go up the ladder. Yeah. I mentioned in my bit of the script, or notes that fame and respect is what you get as an owner. Did you get that as well? Fame and respect? Like, not fame and fame as in like really famous, just like a bit of like people treat you better than the average person. Um, I mean, when people see you succeed, I mean, I wasn't that successful myself, but when people see you doing better, they do treat you differently, obviously. Because when I'd flow, Ronnie, you're going to know Emmanuel. He was like the main oh, part of growing the team. He was, he was basically yeah. the advocate, right? He'd promote the server everywhere. And I mean yeah. everywhere. He got the server about 300 members, and literally everyone in the server knew him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What the f? Yeah. Yo, you're like. You're like. No, I can't say that. Because you're like a. Not a god, but like. You're somebody who knows how to inspire and <clears throat> just knows how to c have a team grow and grow and grow. Because from the first one, you said you had 800. And for the last team, you said you had 2,000. That's <laughs> yeah. a huge improvement. That's a drastic improvement. That's mm. a lot. That's amazing. Yeah, um... I mean... Yeah, go on. Uh, so why did you start like making an esport team? Why did I start? I mean, I th I think I was just bored. I wanted I wanted to do something with my time. Fair enough. <laughs> to be fair, that's a fair enough reason. Like, yeah, yeah. I would have done the same when I started. Flow. I kind of just felt like it. You wanted yeah. to just do something, didn't you? You were just, you were just like, why not, right? Yeah. Then again, you get. Once the starting stage is the really easy part, you can grow to a, a team to about 1k subs in about a month or two. Depends, After on, that, how, depends on how you do it, though. Like, yeah, I have a lot of methods. Yeah. Then, 
after that, you kind of have to put out higher quality videos, which means pay, paying people, right? That's what I didn't want to do. Because it's not... From what I've seen, a lot of different teams, yeah, they didn't really get much money back after they paid for it. So that's why I do think esports isn't profitable unless you have, like, a f lot of competitive players that are making bank like a lot of money you take a cut that's and sponsors yeah. stuff like that yeah. yeah so who inspired you revive who inspired me the person that asked me that question you mm, wow Surely it's someone else as well that has to be other people it wasn't like just ronan i mean uh, there probably was other people, but you were probably the main person. Because I used to be in your yeah. team, and you did good stuff. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. I'm glad to have you. Glad to have you. Got... Alright. So, where do you see yourself in the future? Where I see myself? I mean, I'm not working a 5 to 9 job. Where would that Definitely be? not. You mean 9 to 5? Nah. You mean 9 to 5? 9 to 5, that's the one. I ain't doing that. Um... I mean, I just want to make more money and live, you know. Financial freedom? freedom? Is that something you want? Hmm? You just Financial want freedom. freedom. You just want freedom. Financial don't you? freedom, that's the one. Yeah. Especially the shit's going on now. Mm. Kind of an urgency to have a lot of money on you. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> once you got to the top, like once you started doing well in your team did you see any like actual benefits from it or benefits no nah, bro it was once you got to the top there was nothing to do like it was boring there was people like you know discord nukers god oh yeah god sake she nuked people trying to ruin your team and stuff it was just i remember ron i remember ronan your um public discord got nuked at one point like before you rebranded yourself to RHL. Uh, this yeah. This was when you were still. Oh, you still had, like this too. It wasn't a, It wasn't a full on nuke. It was like they kicked twenty members. Yeah, and then they like. Then, uh, like the. Then all the channels got deleted. Yeah. Everyone got pinged. About a hundred times, which left. Still don't know how you didn't know until I messaged until like ten minutes after I messaged you, but you know. Because I wasn't even online. Yeah, no, out. but surely you would have been pinged on your phone. No, I muted him. Okay, fair enough. I don't need yeah. notifications for my own surface on my phone, especially. Because I'll just check when I get home. But... Yeah. Um. What makes a team good? I was going to ask Wait, that you... question. Damn, I want to ask that Posture. Posture. Oh, yeah. What? Everybody check your posture. You crack that back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Please, yo! Please, what the frickin'? Do it properly this time, come on, man. Fine. <clears throat> Kilo is... <laughs> Got, um... Luigi. Luigi, yeah? Hey, Luigi. My boy. <clears throat> but yeah, Revive, what makes a good team? A good team? I think consistency is... What's gonna help you grow the most. Yeah. Because there's teams that upload one good video every month, get like a good amount of views, and then stop uploading. And then next video, next month, they do the same thing, and people stop following them, stop uh, wanting to join. And so what should yeah. be the consistency? Like two, three times a week, two, three times a uh, month, like what? One, once a week, I think that's that's good. Once a week, no more. And I mean. It depends with the quality of your videos. Okay. Yeah, for... Um... And how do you make a good team, though? Like, is the players in it? Is it the type of vibe? Is it how the videos are played? Like, what? I mean, I think to start a team, you definitely need a friend with you. Because without that, it's just you're not going to have any motivation to start it. And it's just going to get boring. Team of three people is that's perfect. The way I saw it. That's yeah. I mean, we're a team of three, so it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. But yeah, if but... You, to have a good vibe, you just go um, make your videos entertaining, obviously. Um, in the discords, just um, what's it called? Make sure everyone's getting. Oh, I don't know the words. Give yourself a everyone's second. Participate. Everyone's part participating in something. Yeah. Everybody is like a role, you're saying. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We'd always try start conversations in the Discord to keep it active. That's one thing that's mm. makes the team more like a family. Getting the players to get to know each other, doing events. So it's like a proper community, but it's a team branding, not a personal branding. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Where, where I've seen it. <clears throat> With the experience <clears throat> we all got now, I reckon we could make a really successful team. Yeah. Again, oh, yeah, the way that we're going, it's... yeah, two to three times, like how you said, two to three times posting a week or once or twice, but solid videos. Yeah, we're definitely going to become a good, you know, we're going to have, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say something, but I might. I'd prefer to talk about it off uh, camera as well. Actually, It'd be oh. easier. Oh, okay. Just like yeah. just, yeah. just like stuff that we could do in future. All right. Yeah. Save that for yeah. the end. Okay. So we have got esports management versus being a competitive player. What do you think about that? What's that mean? So. Would you have, if you're like really good as a player, would you have yeah. gone that way instead? Or do you see like. 100%. Yeah. There's no money to be made of owning teams. That's just, it's just a bit of fun. But if you want to make the real money, you want to be a, become a competitive player. Mm. Like for you, said Uga made 1.5 mil, was it? Uh, it's 3 mil. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's for no Booga? For Booga, yeah. He... It was split because of half a three is one and a half or something like that. And, you mm. know, taxes and stuff from the government. So annoying. And, yeah, that's what Booga made. Uh, well, yeah, and he didn't yeah. want to keep a hold of all of it because then his taxes would go higher. And the thing is, he wasted all of it on his setup and stuff. He didn't, like, invest it or anything. But, I mean, hey, it's his money. He could do whatever he wants with it. I mean, yeah. Know. Yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, I don't think he went, like, too... I mean, to be fair, like, there's not much you can really do to your setup with three million, right? Because there's only, like, unless you buy four, maybe, like, 600 grand PCs or more, <sighs> right? Yeah. Then that's when you're wasting your money. But you can't really waste your money on the setup with three million because, like, there's not enough things to buy yeah, no, for one setup with yeah, three million. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really work that way. Yeah, it's that's too much money. Yeah, yeah. You get you get to a point where it's like, well, I can't re you can't really spend it all on one thing because there's too many things to, like, there's not enough things to buy without yeah, it making right. making it look stupid. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of business, I wouldn't see esports management as a, especially if you're just a starting entrepreneur, I wouldn't go with esports management because. Yeah. It'd be good to get a managerial kind of experience, but not actually if you want to make money. Mm. The only way... The running costs are so high from... The editing, the videos, maintenance, player salaries. You've got a lot of running costs. And if your players don't make anything back, or you don't get any sponsorships that month, you're kind of in a dead zone. Yeah. And... Lifespans of teams generally are around five to ten years. Um, what, I've... what is around five to ten the years? Uh, the type, the lifespan of teams. Yeah. Well, like... that's not true because phase is it... much more than five ten years. The average. Oh, the, oh, the average. the average. Okay, we don't talk about. Okay, yeah, I was just. Not talking about phase, right? Phase is a massive team, right? Mm -hmm. Although there is the biggest controversy with that team what right? do you mean i think at some point phase is gonna start heading to a point where they're gonna go so far downhill they're just gonna have to disband completely <laughs> but what like, games seen, are they playing have you seen the video that tico put out on his youtube channel about phase no. where they are treating the newer players and the newer people in phase 
with more hot with more roles and more like um more like um luxuries and uh oh what did he say it was more luxuries more like um i can't remember what he said but it was like they yeah. get they get more uh, respect and stuff by phase mem by like the phase owners and stuff uh then the OG um that's, then the OG people. That's absurd. Like Tico was saying Tico's been there from day one, right? Well like people that have been there from day one, they don't get nearly as much love and respect from phase as the as the brand new people. That's crazy. <laughs> so that's why I think phase as an organization is going to yeah. fail eventually. <laughs> they have their highs but like you can't that say that forever. Ago. That that yeah. was that was that was more, that was a few years ago. Like views have certainly gone down. It it's they went from here to here, right? In like from when they started going from Fortnite, then it started going yeah. like gradually going down and down with the yeah. downfall of Fortnite and as well as the downfall of like the owners' respect for players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do we have? We had scams, crypto scams. We had base oh, yeah. Tifu not being allowed out. Yeah. But, Treatment of players. Mm -hmm. A lot of the owners certainly had a lot of controversy around them. Yeah. So, it's a bit like Kay and Jarvis were involved in the scam of things, but I. Um, oh, but Jarvis. Then again... <laughs> Jarvis, yeah. you're insane, Jarvis. You're insane. <laughs> I love that when um, your British I accent is so I bad. It's bad. Wait, wait, wait. All right, I'll try, I'll try my British accent. I, st I still feel at one point though that Jarvis will or um, like or should get unbanned, right? Considering like YouTuber, why did he get banned again? Why did he get banned? Cheating. Oh, he cheated for a bit for for content though. Like he didn't do it. He's I doubt it. Like he, but the cheats yeah. only work on keyboard. He plays controller. Oh. Even though the control, even though controller in like chapter two, season one was basically the same as the aimbot he was using, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. you know that, that was the point where aim assist was stupidly busted, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like YouTuber Landon, right? He got banned for he got permanently banned on his uh, one million V bucks account, right? When when you could buy a million V bucks on the Fortnite account. That's crazy that you could do that. <laughs> he got permanently banned for like changing the in-game files to get custom skins that are only visible on his end that's crazy he got unbanned in chapter 4 but I still think because of that Jarvis will eventually get unbanned because he's a content creator and he did to be fair bring a lot of viewers to the Fortnite scene so he did a positive and a negative at the same time. Yeah, like Jarvis brought a positive thing by bringing people to the game, and a negative thing by using cheats in a video. Because, because, why would you do that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why the fuck would you cheat in a video game for for views? <laughs> like if you're at your all-time high of in a video game, and you're making consistent money and revenue off of it, why would you cheat? What's the point? <laughs> yeah, I get you, man. I get you. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's... Just... Very... Yeah. My... F I have no way to explain that, to be honest. That's just weird. That's just... So, Ronnie, you talked about your experience in GSG and all that as well? Or, um... I don't know what GSG is, so I can't talk about well, that. I, I can I can say like a few things esports uh, are about, and then I can move on to like my experiences with esports. Um, yeah. Esports is esports in general, uh, like depending on what team you're in, especially teams from like 2017 and onwards. Like with GSG in Chapter One, Season Nine, uh, that was they they were fun. Teams were fun to be in. Because you could make you could make a ton of friends, you could be a part of this big community that you weren't a part of before. Uh, you could grow your socials, uh, and depending on what team you're in, depending on your competitive status, you can make money from it as well. Uh, you're make you're making memories uh, from the videos you're uploading. 
hence why I'm trying to get the, still trying to get the GSG channel back. Uh, Mark, are you good, bro? Sorry, I just thought it was sorry. It also, it also teaches you a few sorry, things. Sorry, no, oh my god, world. I just, oh my it god. It does teach you a few things for the real world, yeah. though, as well, right? I just went into a um, daze. Like, if, if you don't keep trying, you're not going to succeed. If you give up yeah. on something that you need to do to make an income, right? So, uh, hang on. If you give up on something that you need to do to make an income, then you're going to fail. You're not going to get an income. You can become homeless. No, you're gonna lose respect, just stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm now gonna move on to like my experiences with joining teams and stuff for like the fun, the enjoyment and stuff. Uh, yeah. Like before I joined a team, I was just some guy who went to school, hung like sometimes hung around with his friends, played Minecraft on my Xbox, and then got introduced to Fortnite around. Uh, like oh when it first came god. out. <laughs> oh my god, that's what I used that's to do. That's when I got addicted. Uh, from when it first came out and stuff. So you did get addicted. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but that's obviously that's normal. That was like from the start of where they get. That's when the game started. A lot of people did. Yeah. Right. But and that was possibly the best decision I could have made in my life. Like playing Fortnite. Um. Like. I then decided to like get a PS4 um, from moving to X like so I moved from Xbox to PS4 I um, so I can make content uh, better I could stream on YouTube at that point as well so then I could make YouTube videos I crapped on these a crap ton more easier um, this was a list like a few years later as well um, but then a cut like fast forward like maybe one and a half ish years when we moved to chapter one season nine that's when i joined golden school gaming uh and i had spoken to ronan before joining gsg through uh one of our mutual friends liam coming to get to plays um so that so that's when i like around that time that's when i joined gsg uh, and I made a ton of friends there, um, some of which I still talk to now, some of which I don't. Uh, I met people, I met Tryhard, I met Magix, Bigbot, Predict, Zach, and shit tons of other people from GSG. Uh, people I don't really talk to now, uh, Tryhard I don't speak to, I speak, I speak to him barely, but that like that's ages ago. Yeah. Don't really speak to Big Bot. Haven't spoken to Predict in ages. Uh, Zach, I speak to here and there. Uh, Magix, I still talk to, but like not that much. Uh, like it's every now and again, really, because uh, I'm yeah. focusing on my own things. But like even the even like because it got disbanded around Chapter Two, Season Two of Fortnite, right around like 2020 ish. Uh. When it got disbanded, and um, like after like short things, like after a short time frame, right? Because it never really grew that big. We got to like what three hundred subscribers, although that was big for the time. Well, like when it was big for the time of like chapter one teams, it was decently big for s singular channels, and for like upcoming teams, but. It then disbanded around chapter two, season two, and it was never heard of again. But because of that is the reason why I'm here. I'm making podcasts, still playing Fortnite, and yeah, now also inconsistent on my own social media because yeah. I don't know any. I don't know any video ideas anymore. So yeah, that's basically my experience with GSG and like before GSG and after GSG and stuff. Yeah. Uh, is there anything anyone else wants to say? Any questions for Revive? Any? You explained it quite well, to be fair. Yeah. Um, there was certainly a lack of experience from my end when I started the team. So. Yeah. But I mean, to be fair even with lack of experience you still did well because you still grew a, a fairly big roster right started as a fun thing then it went then, yeah. it, then, then it became like an actual thing which 
wasn't expected. Yeah, it was like a friends group, I think. Yeah, issue. G GS GSU was a friends group, and then it became some massive team that everyone yeah. wanted to join. <laughs> I was just like, oh man. I remember that. How many? How many no, like, group? Yeah. How many like? Um, yeah. How many videos are on the uh, hashtag still? I want. I want to know. How many video uh, hashtag? I'll uh, do GSG one twenty. But is there anyone? Ev anything anyone else wants to say? Marco, do you have anything? No, because I don't. You have any really... questions for revive I... then? No, not really. I'm just trying to. No, I just. I, I don't have anything. Ronan, do you have anything? I mean, I can tell you guys about my journey if you guys want it. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, man. All right. So, what happened was I wanted to be a gamer. This was seventh, eighth grade. I started on a, on a big Samsung TV with an Xbox. And, As you do. <laughs> And, that was me. and I actually started playing Madden, NBA, 2K, well, 2K, yeah, NBA, uh, MLB. I played Steep. I played, wait, do I have my video game thing over here? It's like, it's like a, like a, like a, oh, yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. All right, so I used to play Raymond Legends, Rhyme, Just Dance. Oh my god, 2K17? Oh my god. So I used to play all those games. Oh my god. And yeah. then I uh, and then I switched into Fortnite when my parents let me. Um no, I think I it was season three or season two. And it was great. It was it was fun. I got really addicted. It was an unhealthy habit. And then, yeah. as esports continued, I wanted to join an org because I wanted to feel cool about myself. <laughs> How did you find Beyond then? Like, I found Beyond. Was well, Team Eternal first? Yeah, team it was. Eternal. I don't even know, was, yo. Was, I think it was. Was it? Was it? Was he? It was. It was some Team Cryptex, Team Eternal. I think it was yeah. Team then... Eternal. It was some type of connections. And stuff, and then my cousin actually got famous because he um, he got into he won a a private not a private I forgot the scrim he won a scrim I forgot who it was he was so famous in like twenty uh, nineteen twenty twenty and he got famous his name is Justin and yes he was extremely cracked on Fortnite. <laughs> 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 is that where the Justin video originated from? No, I don't know where it originated from. <laughs> and Legend. No, that would have been funny. And then, um... <clears throat> Alright, um... As it got bigger and bigger... Oh my god, my voice is going crazy. <clears throat> like, clicks, I followed clicks. I followed the phase team. I followed energy. And then, um... I, yeah, I went from an Xbox on a big Samsung, t Samsung, on a Samsung TV to, um, this yeah. gorgeous setup here. This is, and this is my, uh, this is my, Juicy setup tools. this is my, uh, this is my setup, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, when Marco did his setup tool for, oh my god, what, he did it for like three minutes long. This is this is my setup. It was like the whole video length, bro. <laughs> this is my uh, my setup. Oh Valley, oh he was a cool guy. Yeah. Oh Valley. That's my. It's just two monitors. He smacked his chair. It's just two monitors and then my stuff. Yeah, that's. Yeah. No, trust me, it was it was what a journey. I gotta tell you guys, it took me two three years just to like. <sighs> it took it was. It was ups and downs, I gotta tell you, but grind, yeah. oh, it was an extreme grind. But uh, I'm very blessed and thankful. Um, I haven't done esports in a minute now, but um, all I'm very thankful that I got to hear your guys' experiences. Um, for me, it was yeah. a lot of ups and downs, and uh, yeah, that that's how that's how it was for me. And yeah, let's continue on with the video. <laughs> All right, so, Armour, um, you talked about getting financial freedom, right? I'll give him, give him a second. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so what, what would you do in the future? Like, what type of business? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an echo. There's a hard echo. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think something about real estate is quite big. But I'm a bit too young to start thinking about all that stuff. I mean, I'll see. I'll see. Pick something now. Pick something now. See what, oh. where it takes me. Because you're going college soon, right? So, yeah. Oh, in a year or two. And you can. Well, I don't know what you want to do, but potentially. I wouldn't do business, to be fair. You don't really learn how to get rich there. Yeah, no, what do you do on business? I, I did GCSE business, right? You don't. You learn the concepts of business, like what you can do, business structures, like mm. methods of delivery or something, but you don't actually get the, you don't learn to get rich. Mm. Yeah. You know what I've never got? What? The business teachers that, that tell you how to get rich, like they're, they're literally a teacher, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Dude. Yeah. I think. Yeah, esports is a very fun thing. If we're gonna link it to that. Now, esports was but was a dream. Definitely not profitable <laughs> for a teenager. I think. Why? Says who? What? Me. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> never uh, mind, then. I mean, it depends, in a way. If you like, can get, a, if you can grow a team without having to pay people, I'll congratulate you on that. Because I've, it doesn't. When I say costs, right, it, it won't be that much for a single edit, right? You, you can get free editors that are good, but eventually they're gonna want some sort of payment or some something in return, right? Mm. It's where a team like falls out of place with relationship management, like getting everything in check. Having everything on time, being punctual, professional. Those are the type of things that matter. And yeah, I think. Now, luckily, with. Uh, a lot with, of work. Luckily, with Flo, we were able to get um, our team charge edited I by Buzzy, uh, who didn't actually charge us. Shout out to the big lad. When I edit like that, that's worth yeah. of 30 quid at least. What? And I'm saying just, 30, but he, it's probably he, a lot more than that. He, he just hooked us up for free. Yeah. Shout out to the big lad. I ain't spoken to him in a while either, so. Yeah, and to t check this podcast out potentially. Would do, yeah. Okay. This will be the best podcast to listen to. This will be. We're going to do it. Yes. Wait, Ronnie, yeah. can I ask you a question? Go on. What's up? After all them years talking to Ronan online, how did it feel like meeting him for the first time? To be fair, I mean, in a way, felt sort of awkward, sort of, because we've spoken to each other mo like online, mm. uh, more. So when meeting each other in real life, it was kind of like awkward because it was different. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, I don't I know how to really describe it. Mm. It was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be meeting you guys mean? soon. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm across the world, but I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, basically, Sorry, I'll day so out, yeah. Just get, just get like a museum. Spray. The museum. Yeah. National yeah. National Gallery. No. National Nas National History. National History Museum. Yeah. I think yeah. It was good. We like talked about history, like everything that's happened yeah. online. It was good meeting your dad as well. He seems quite nice. Yeah, yeah he maybe does. We'll, maybe we'll all meet as well. Yeah. Revive and you, Marco. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Actually, yeah. A couple years time. Perhaps. Yeah, you know it. You know it. it was... <laughs> but we definitely did talk about it one time, didn't we? Yeah. 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 To London. So, yeah. Where is Marco from? I'm from New York. Oh yeah, New York, I forgot. Yeah, I'm from yeah. New York, yeah. Mm. Once we get the capital, just fly fly yourself down, isn't it? Oh yeah, once I get the green flag, I got you guys. It's just mucho. I've accidentally broken a USB stick. Great. Okay. 
Nice. Good. Well done. That helps. Luckily, it's only a Windows install and doesn't have important files. Thank fuck for that. Have we, um... We talked about everything? I mean... Oh, yeah. What type of videos to get on the channel? Revive. What would you... Yeah, what type I mean, of videos? What I normally done is I started off my team with a how to join video to get everything clear. What I'm expecting, what kind of players, what kind of videos I'm going to put out. And that normally got a lot of views. Like the highest one I got was about 6,000 views, which got me quite a lot of following. And then after yeah. that, I do a team touch to show my t team what I offer. Um, and then I'll do introducing videos, content videos, all that stuff. Yeah, I like that. It's good. So, would you start... Did you actually do, like, full-on content videos, like setup tours, all that kind of... Uh, yeah, I did. I can... I think I did. You did setup tours. I definitely did setup tours. Did you do any other types of videos, um, or was it just... I did a 1v1 on Rocket League to see with the two founders to see who wins. Did you I win? Did... I definitely won. You definitely um, won. <laughs> no, I did win, I did win. Um, now does that mean in a now is that sarcastic or is that No no no, no Rocket League there? What rank are you? What rank? Yeah. I'm like nearly diamond I think. Nearly diamond. Nearly oh, diamond. That's the nearly most common diamond. rank nowadays. I'm gold. Gold. Wow, what a flex! You're gold. You're you're a flexer. Wow. <laughs> but to be fair, I did, uh, I only started playing again like a yeah. year, like sometime earlier this year. So. But to be fair, I, in, in I like a month, I did a decent a bit, a decent amount of improvement. Me and Jishi so. Zach, man. Rock League team. Ronan, I remember you getting pissed off at me because I was so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Ronan yeah, got pissed at right. me because I left the team twice. Why'd you leave? Yeah. Because uh, I, um, I think it was like I felt bad for Brandon um, or some shit. Brandon and then, Dowling. Yeah, and then, and then I saw what the shit he did. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going back. <laughs> I've had enough. Right. Well, yeah. I'm too in habit of calling that. All right. So, <laughs> revive. Yeah. Yeah. I think the reason I got mad at you, well, not mad at you, like angry, angry, like a little yeah. bit. I think it was because you kept chasing the ball down, like you kept like following it around. I didn't know what to do. You were just chasing the ball, bumping me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not me. Yeah, that's, that's what you did as well, Ronnie. Yeah. You did that as well. <laughs> but to be fair, that's that's that was ages ago when I was on keyboard and mouse. And, and Ronnie. I, well, I had to. I didn't have a working controller. Nah, she was. It was you, Revive. You literally ran round the whole of the stadium <laughs> and stole all the boost. <laughs> I love that laugh. I love that laugh. <laughs> right? <laughs> and as soon as they shoot the ball, I couldn't save it. And they boost. I oh, know. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan goes. I remember. Ronan, I remember uh, something like that happening. <laughs> I remember that. Jeez. Yeah. Ronan and Revive playing two v twos. Ronan going for the ball. 